All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's just says Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? I want to title this lesson that cannibalism is coming to America in a gruesome way. Okay? Now, I have uh, three articles, okay, and I'll put them up in the uh, description box, okay, about, um, you know, cannibalism. It says, what you eat, human meat grown in a lab, okay? Um, so now they're talking about making um, human meat, okay, in labs, okay, and then it says right here, if you were told this was, this beef was lab grown human meat would it look more or less appealing okay and they put the picture right there you know to make people think that beef and um human grown lab meat are look the same okay so um this is just the article about um human grown lab meat okay and the other things that they um that they um making uh you know the lab and, and everything okay and then you have uh this uh article called Drew Barrymore raves about cannibalism and uh Santa Clarita diet promo season two now available okay and they have a TV show okay geared towards um zombies okay and uh basically uh cannibalism okay um we get the etymology of the word zombie okay um 1871 a west african origin um fetus god okay it says originally the the name of a of a snake god later with meaning reanimated corpse and voodoo cult but perhaps also from louisiana creole word meaning phantom or ghost shade ghost a slow-witted person okay so uh, she's talking about cannibalism and this uh, thing. I'm going to play the uh, clip. 30 seconds. I loved bodies. With the Santa Clarita diet, I don't deny myself bodies. I eat bodies every day. Bodies, bodies, bodies. Feet, arms, belly buttons, pushes. That's the genius of this diet. I'm in the best shape of my life. And I have eaten bodies every single day. It's not just a diet. It's a whole new lifestyle. I love... Now, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, uh, be surprised if she actually was eating bodies, okay? Or, uh, yeah, human flesh, okay, in real life. Okay? And then there's an uh, artist, I mean, an uh, article... About um, artist live streams cannibalism performance where two people are fed their own flesh. Okay, and um, in this article they're talking about you know how um, two people basically uh, got fed their flesh, and um, basically uh, I'm gonna just read uh, something. Um, it says, needless to say, people were pretty outraged with the performance. Spurring a flurry of co complaints and even some attention from the police. This performance is a metaphor of consumer society that consumes itself. The writer, I mean the artist wrote in the description of the performance called Eschatology, which means the spiritual study of death and the end times. Okay, it says, um, even now in post postmodernism. We still don't have the over idea that brings us 
any meaning or justification of our own existence. Regardless of what you think about the artistic mass message, cannibalism isn't recommended, scientifically speaking. Human flesh is said to taste like a mix of pork and veal. And a lot of people out here like pork. Convicted murderer and cannibal Armin, Armin Miris, okay, reportedly said, The flesh tastes like pork, a little bit more bitter, stronger. It tastes quite good. This is because human muscle tissue is made up of many similar proteins and fats as these large animals. Okay. So, um, pretty soon this, uh, cannibalism, okay, is going to come to America. And then it says, uh, it's for the legality of all this is hazy. In the U.S., there are no laws explicitly against cannibalism but most states have laws that indirectly make it tough to legally obtain and consume human flesh it's a similar deal in most other countries although it varies from jurisdiction to jurisdiction performing this act in public and then broadcasting it through social media comes with with whole other bunch of monthly legal problems so even if you're exploring the nature of death and consumerism through performance art, we can't re recommend that you eat human flesh. So there are no laws explicitly about against it in America, okay? And um, you shouldn't be surprised, okay? Um, so I want to get into how it's going to um, come to America. Okay, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 53. And and thou, which is thou is you, shall eat the fruit of your own body, the flesh of your sons and of your daughters, which the Lord thy God has given you, in the siege and in the straightness, wherewith your enemies shall distress you. Okay? And, um, you know, don't be surprised, okay? That you uh are already eating that you know lap human human meat grown in the lab or meat period that was grown in the lab in these any of these um uh fast food restaurants okay but when this time comes okay this is when martial law is gonna happen the RFID chip okay the major prophecies that are in the Bible because we're in the last days okay. And um, pretty soon, things are going to get real out here, okay? And um, when it says, uh, we're with your enemies, so distress you, okay? That's when the so-called white man is going to say that you can't buy or, 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 or sell anything unless you have that, that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, okay? And then you're going to have people out here. That are not gonna gonna do that or go through the, the motions to do that. And they're gonna be eating their children. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the type of people that will be. Deuteronomy twenty eight and fifty four. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother, right? That black on black crime, and toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave. Okay, the deadbeat fathers, okay. So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat. Okay, so a lot of these niggas out here, they're going to be eating their own children. Because he has nothing left him in the siege. When all that food is gone out the refrigerator. Okay, the same way how these um cartoons be playing that, um, that image of a person that's hungry. Okay, turning into a piece of chicken. That's how that... that, that um. Their children gonna start, you know, turning into pieces of chicken, okay? In the in their eyesight. It says, and then the straightness wherewith your enemies shall distress you and all your gates. Okay, that's all your cities, okay? That the so-called white man, the government, okay, the Edomites are gonna be um placing people in the um under martial law and everything, man. Cause that's coming to America big time. Okay, and when that does happen. A lot of people are going to be eating their children, okay? It says, um, Deuteronomy 20, 28 and 56, 
the tender and delicate woman among you, which will not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Okay, this is more, more going towards you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, it says, her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. Okay, women can be dead beats too. Okay, and toward her young one that comes out from between her feet. Okay, when she gives that childbirth and toward her children, which she shall bear. For she shall eat them for want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness. You might have a woman that may be pregnant, okay, during that time, okay, and might give birth to the child and end up eating the child. Okay, that's the reality of the times that we're about to come into, man. Okay, it says, wherewith your enemy shall distress you in all your gates. And if a woman is pregnant, okay, during those times, and she's um, hungry, not only is she hungry, but the baby is hungry. Okay? <laughs> Jeremiah 19 and 8. And I will make this city desolate and an hiss and an hissing. Everyone that passes thereby, I mean passes thereby shall be astonished and hiss because of all the plagues thereof. Okay, and that's what when the um America start um uh you know falling and crashing, a lot of our people, okay, you Israelites, y'all gonna be eating y'all children, man. Okay? The race wars and everything. It says, and I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters. And they shall eat every one the flesh of his friend and the siege and straightness. So you're going to have, okay, um, your people who, who may have been friends, okay, growing up and everything. You, somebody might might just kill him, okay, and start eating his, eating his own friend. Okay, that's when that survival instinct is going to start kicking in. You might have people that's running around trying to kill other people just so they can eat. It says, wherewith their enemies and they that seek their lives so straighten them. Okay. That word straighten. Taza, taza walk. Okay, to constrain. Press, bring into straight, straight, straighten, oppress. Okay? And that's where our people are going to be. They're going to be oppressed, okay? Uh, Lamentations 4 and 10. The hands of the pitiful woman have sought in their own children. They were their meat and the destruction of the daughter of my people. Okay? So the word sodden. But basal, okay, to boil, cake, cook, bake, roast, ripen, grow ripe, okay. So these women, okay, see pitiful women, they're gonna be um, eating their um, own children, okay. And um, this happened before; it's gonna happen again, okay. And I'm gonna get this scripture and I'm gonna end it. Okay. Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And our hope is to get away from these times that are about to come. Okay. We know that these times are going to come. And we're going to have to endure that. Children crying and all type of stuff man. Okay. Friends. You know people going at each other. You know, but that's a part of our hope because we want to get the hell up out of here. Okay? So with that, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to say shallow warm till next time.